Time to talk about another serious condition. About a million people in America suffer from Parkinson's disease. Joining us today is Dr. Georgetta Varga. She's the director of movement disorders at the Seton Brain and Spine Institute. Thank you so much for being with Thank us you very this much morning. For being here. Um, when I say Parkinson's disease, immediately I think of high profile celebrities like Muhammad Ali, the boxer, like Michael J. Fox. Explain to us what exactly is going on. What is Parkinson's disease? Yeah, first, uh, this, uh, every patient is different than the other one. Mm -hmm. And when I talk to my patients about this disease, I, told, I tell them that this is a slowly progressive neurodegenerative disease. Mm -hmm. And uh, it does uh, imply symptoms like tremor and mm -hmm. uh, rigidity and stiffness and slow movements mm -hmm. and balance problems. Mm -hmm. Uh, the problem is that this is not just a disease that affects what is called the motor behavior. It does have a lot of components or symptoms non-motor, mm -hmm. like depression or constipation of loss of smell, which mm -hmm. can manifest many years before you start having problems with your motor control. I see. It's a very complex disease. Every patient is different, mm -hmm. therefore requires a lot of attention from the physician. And we see, you know, with the example of Michael J. Fox, we all remember him in sitcoms and, and movies. And um, he was diagnosed at a relatively young age. Yes. Um, typically, who does this affect? About what is known today, and numbers are changing every year, and mm -hmm. we learn more and more. But today we say about 10% of patients have the onset of the disease between age 20 and 40, which is called a young onset Parkinson disease. Mm -hmm. Um, younger the onset of the disease, longer the disease progression is. Um, in these patients that we have the onset earlier, we think there's a genetic component, but that's not true anymore. We find patients that have a later onset mm -hmm. and that genetic makeup mm -hmm. that predispose you to develop the disease is going to be present. So. Uh, medicine black and white is not always that way. It's usually a gray area. Sure. So what, uh, I know people out, out there are going to wonder, what are the warning signs? What do we need to look out for? The warning signs. Everybody would like to diagnose the disease when you don't have any symptoms, when we have a cure for the disease. We are not there yet, but we are progressing. Mm -hmm. uh, patients usually, they come in your office mm -hmm. when they start having problems with their motor control, with their motor behavior, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. a little bit of slowness, which is many times blame on aging process, which is a pitfall. Right. And about 20% of patients, they don't have tremor. Mm -hmm. And those can walk on the street for years until finally they get diagnosed. Um, the statistic says that at any given time, you might have 40% of patients walking on the street with no diagnosis. Yeah. And when, how, how is it being treated? We do have now a complexity, a comprehensive approach to treat these patients and each management is complementary. We talk about neuro rehab, mm -hmm. medication and surgery, deep brain stimulator surgery. Each one is a complementary therapy. None replaces the other one. Mm -hmm. Each one has to be addressed and adjusted because the disease evolves, progresses slowly. So this patient needs to be seen periodically for adjustment of the therapy. I, I, I'm sorry to cut you off. We, we, are, out of, we are out of time, Thank but uh, we want to direct people for more information to go to SeatonBrainAndSpine.com um, for more information on Parkinson's disease. Thank you, Thank you for being Thank with us much. this morning.